Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow loom caterpillar bracelet. In order to make that bracelet, you will need your kit, your hook, your colors, and your seat clips. As you can see, I'm making the colors purple, green, and yellow. I would first take the first color, which is purple, and put my kit so the arrows are facing the opposite way of me. I would take the purple and I would put it on the one with the arrow and the one across from it. Then I would take my next color, which is yellow, and put it on the one with the arrow and the one up from it. Then I would take my third color, which is green, and put it on the peg that the purple was slanted on and the one up from it. So now you can see it's kind of a slanted half square. Then you would take the, the color that you started with, that's on the bottom, which is purple, and put it on top so it looks like a finished slanted square. Then you would do the same thing on top, but it has to be in this order, otherwise it won't turn out to be the same. Then put the green on top. And as you can see, the purple down here is already done for you. So all you would have to do is put the purple on top. I will do this all the way up to show you the steps. Be free to pause this video whenever you would like. If you would like, you can push your rubber bands down a little so it won't come off when you are ready to crochet it. When you get to the top, you should do the top part. And this is what it will look like when you are done. Next, you would flip your board over so the arrows are facing towards you. And you would push the purple out of the way and take your green, push it over the peg 
and onto the peg that's in front of it. Then you would take the yellow and put it onto the peg that is in front of it. You would have to do it in this pattern as you would do for the putting the rubber bands on. Otherwise, your bracelet will not turn out the way it should be. Then you would push this out. And there's two rubber bands down here, as you can see. The purple and the green. But you would only take the purple this time. And don't get the green. And bring it over that peg and onto the peg that's across from it. So then it would look like this. Then you would keep repeating the same pattern, but you cannot forget the green that is under this peg. So you would take the green and put it over and onto the peg that's in front. Then you would dig through all this and get the yellow and put it, take it over that peg and put it onto the peg that is in front of it. Then, since there's only two, you would take the purple, bring it over and onto the peg that is across from it. Then, you would, don't forget the green, take the green, put it in front, and then take the purple, and then take the yellow, and then now take the purple. You keep doing this pattern, so it will be the green, the yellow, then the purple, and the slant. This is what it will look like when you are done with the crocheting. Now, you would take your, your hook, put it through the last peg that it's on, the peg with the arrow, and take the colors you have started with, so mine would be yellow, purple, and green. And we take the purple, you would put it on the hook part, you would take it through all of your rubber bands. and put it on your stick and push it back. So then it would look like this. Then, since you pushed it back, you can either take it off or take, take it off the stick and hold it or take your other rubber band and push it through. But if this happens, so I would recommend that you would take it and do it with your hands. This might not happen always, but it happens sometimes. Sorry, this is gonna take a little bit. Okay, you would hold it like this and take this yellow rubber band, stick it through and take the both sides like you're looping and so it will look like this then you would take your other color and put it in you can do this until it fits your wrist it's just so because this is going to be too small for your wrist if you know you're my age 10 and so three is my length because my wrist is pretty tiny and then you would take your C-clip and put it on your last color and then take it off to look like this. Then you would take your C-clip and put it on and in and then stretch it. But make sure your rubber bands are on the side of the C-clip because if it's in the middle and you stretch it, it will come up and out. And you have now officially made your Caterpillar Rainbow Loom bracelet. Thank you for watching. Bye.